Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, I'm going to take a completely different approach. In the past, as you know, most of my videos are quite lengthy and very detailed. This one, I recorded a very short video, which is going to follow up here. Moving forward, I probably won't even have this introduction if you folks like this style of video. I will still continue to create the longer form videos, but if these are of interest, they obviously take far less time to create. So please, please, please leave a comment and let me know what you think of this form. You could say, yes, I love it, produce more of them. You could say, no, I hate them, only stick to the long form videos. I'm open and all ears to any feedback that you have. Folks, thanks again for supporting. I will be posting a longer form video tomorrow, so stay tuned for it. I'm gonna to try to get back into a more regular cadence of video production. Okay, take care and enjoy the video. Bye. Lots of players, especially juniors, give up after hitting a weak shot. Let's absorb some grit and relentlessness from Joel Macon as he raises his focus and intensity after spraying the ball. It's easy to say chase the ball, but let's see exactly what Macon is doing. Number one, his mindset is that of a dog chasing a bone. He's thinking, I'm going to get this at all costs. His eyes are fixated on the ball, as you just saw, and his brain is processing what shot Asal will play based on Asal's body position and many other cues. Macon stays light on his feet and in an athletic stance, as you can see, and he's ready to pounce on the ball as soon as Asal plays his shot. The best part? Keeping the ball in play after a poor shot creates the opportunity to win a rally you would have otherwise definitely lost. Look at Asal's body language after getting the no let over here. This could be the start of positive momentum for Macon. The choice is yours. Relinquish the point or dig in and give yourself a chance for positive momentum.